So believe it or not, I grew up in the 90s. Yeah. So um, I was I I played video games throughout all of the 90s, and there's one thing that always stuck in my mind. Way back in the day, they used to have you call up to um, like phone lines to basically get tips, and tips would cost like two dollars a minute. It was ridiculous. But there's one game in particular that basically took the cake with this. It was Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah. The game actually, for the next part of you, in order to lose a puzzle game, you had to figure out what to do, and literally, you go to a particular club, you know the club I'm talking about, the Ink and Paint Club, and they actually gave you a phone number to call to get the next piece of the game done. With that said, with that hot tip for us, uh, bleh, uh, Jessica, bleh, I can't remember the name. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit! Duh! Wow, I feel it. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit, everybody! Woo! Thank you. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. You have plenty of money, 19, 22. You let other women make a fool of you. Why don't you do right like some other men do? Get out of here, get me some money
This is the big one, guys. You're going to have to help me take this home, all right? Ready when you are back there.
<laughs> Unfortunately, we have closing ceremonies coming up here in a few minutes, but I would like to do one last thing. That was all of our acts for this evening. Would everyone come out for one final cricket pop, please? Woo! These are your performers, they had, they had the brave talent, creativity, and everything else to come up here and do it. I hope that one day you guys would come up here too and do the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, your performers, please take a bow. Like a really bad porn. Oh. No, I've seen the last few months of Motor City Frickon 2017. Aren't you going to help? <laughs> All right. So, before we officially get started with closing ceremonies, uh, I just wanted to say something real quick. Two weeks ago today, we lost a member in the fandom, Takaza. For those of you who don't know, he has been an inspirational member in this fandom for decades, plural. He formed the Furry Convention Leadership Roundtable, which allows us and other conventions to discuss to make the community better. He was staff at FCN, the precursor to Motor City. He supported us and the community in ways that no one else has in this fandom. So, if you have a glass, raise it. If not, a just real quick moment of silence for Takaza, please. Gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the closing ceremonies. Thank you very much. As always, we uh, know you have many selections for your con enjoyment. Thank you for sharing this uh, weekend with us. We appreciate all of you coming here and making this as great as it is. Without you guys, we couldn't do it. Um, I want to thank all of our staff. You see the ones that are out front, but you also don't see that we've got many people behind the scenes helping us out, and I want to make a shout out to all of our staff, uh, be it those who help us at Con, those who help us before Con, for all their hard work and dedication for making this a great con. Uh, we also have our group of volunteers who have worked tirelessly uh, throughout the convention. Uh, I want to thank uh, head of volunteers who has been kind enough to wrangle them around and make sure that they end up where they need to be. Um, without volunteers, it becomes very difficult and I want to thank our volunteers to no end. Um, also, our door sign. Uh, for the door sign in here, raise your hands, give us a little wave. Uh, our door sign are invaluable. Uh, great security staff. Helps us get a little sleep at night occasionally. <laughs> Not that I listen to that at all. Um, but uh, thank you for everything. I uh, also want to thank our GOHs. Uh, unfortunately, Alkali had to head back early, um, so he will not be joining us here at closing. Uh, work commitments uh, took precedence, so he's shared the entire weekend, and now he gets to go and work all night long into the morning. Um, so uh, I want to thank him and Proxy. Uh, also, um, Don Ryu. Hi. Hey. Hi. Do you want to say anything, Don Ryu? Would you like to say anything, Don Ryu? We can give you a mic. You all rock! Thank you! Woo! 
His art was fantastic. All of them. I did 20 sketches. Thanks. Holy crap. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Welcome. What? Uh, always, uh, it's a pleasure and an honor to have uh, Dr. Conway here. Thank you all again for uh, coming to our convention. Uh, Fox Moore and Pepper Coyote, thank you for uh, bringing us such wonderful musical talent. And due to the fact that I'm horrible at making speeches, I'm going to pass this along to the next person. You're doing just fine! Uh, let's see here. I think it's me. Yeah. I said I've got my own mic. <laughs> ah. better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> my mic, it's better than yours, damn it. Anyway. Uh, so we had a number of tournaments this weekend, a few different events. We have some winners on that. Dragon Harp ran a tournament this weekend. Uh, congratulations to Bear Tong, the winner of that. There was a toaster giveaway this weekend, and the winner, ironically, Waffle Lupagus, <laughs> won the toaster giveaway. I already coincided that I don't care what the correct term is. That's funny. Oh, yeah. uh, the first suit dance comp, which tore up this room last night. Oh my God. Uh, Blaze and Tara Coon, and the winner, Digi, you guys rocked the floor. I said, Woo! Would you with the key passing thing? Kit, would like to talk to you about the hotel? Yes, I want to thank the other group of staff that make this convention work for us. They are our staff, but they're very much part of our family. Um, from the housekeepers, the front desk, the bar staff, the banquet staff, and my counterpart with the hotel, Jamal. Without them, there is no way we'd be able to do this convention for you guys. So I just want to give them a big round of applause. Okay, it's time to announce the registration numbers. We had 18 people for Friday only, 133 for Saturday, 26 for Sunday. We had 422 basic, 611 sponsor, 81 super sponsors for a total of 1,291 attendees. And in case there is any alternative facts, we have 53% of you are sponsor or higher, which is higher than any other con that we are aware of. Yeah. More than half of you sponsored. That is a beautiful thing, people. That we is, love you. That is something I, I have unheard of in this fandom, and, and unless one of them reaches out to us and goes, excuse me. <laughs> but holy crap, the support you guys give on that, that's fantastic. Thank you so love much. You. And a personal you. <laughs> Eat your heart out, FWA. Oh. 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 I went down there for three seconds. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, we have another number for you. Uh, yesterday we had a first seat parade. A bunch of the, the fuzzy people paraded through the hotel, went outside. We had 239 of you. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. There were, there were one or two pictures that went out already, uh, but we're going to get the official photos out on social media uh, following the convention. So keep an eye on Twitter, website, Facebook for those. Uh, I think... You guys might want to hear a little bit about charity members? Yes. Uh, do I have a representative from the charity that could uh, join me up here on stage real quick? There we go. Go, no, right? I'm applying for the charity. Would you like to introduce yourself real quick for the crowd? Again? <laughs> I'm Lori Carr, the director of Pets for Vets Southeast Michigan. Hi, Lori. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and I think most of you heard it, but if you hadn't, Pets for Vets gets shelter pets, trains them for veterans who could really use a companion animal for health, comfort, and well-being. So we rescue the pets and we help save the vets. Yeah. 
All right, so we, we had a couple little events. I'm, I'm going to stand away so you can't see them. <laughs> so, uh, just through simple table donations, what you guys shoved into that little box out there, $1,659. Just because you were like, meh, I want money in that. Uh, just we had a number of charity panels this weekend. Mixology 101, run by Alkali, uh, raised $118. Dragon Harp Gaming, their tournament raised $125. The wonderful Foxmore and Pepper, uh, their little concert, their concert, their amazing concert, raised $196. The Kage and Alkali Charity Show raised $376.31. Thursday night before the con officially even started, Mystery Science Theater for a thousand, because we changed the name for some reason this year. $601.50. The charity Who's Lion raised $641.37. At opening ceremonies, between <laughs> me having an incident right about there, some of you may remember... Something about pie. Thank you, Peisenberg. <laughs> Plus, Alkali offered for a certain amount of money, he would have to follow the MST3K rules for the remainder of the convention. Between the two of those together, $734.72. <laughs> And the charity auction held just two hours ago, $4,556. So between what we raised and between what you guys shoved into their box, $9,007.90. I think you guys set a record for you. No? Yes, yes. I mean, everybody's like, what did they raise? They raised like 23,000. And percentage-wise, there isn't prepared, but percentage-wise, we had what? How many attendees? I mean, just for they the... They only had 3,000. Percentage-wise, we got the beat. Yeah, it's another con. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we, are, we are incredibly grateful and honored and touched that you guys would do this for us. Um, you know how how important animals are. We love animals, of course we do. As I said before, earlier, I felt like I was preaching to the kennel. <laughs> that matter. But, Truly amazing, and uh, this 
money goes directly to what we do. We have very little overhead. We don't have physical facilities where we house dogs or veterans. So, <laughs> so everybody's working out of their homes and their kennel businesses or what have you. So we can pour all that directly into adoption fees, uh, veterinary care uh, for the animals. <laughs> 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 And the huge gift basket that every veteran receives when we finally deliver their new trained companion. So they get toys, food, treats, crates, um, heartworm preventative, flantic stuff. Uh, and we set each veteran up with a veterinarian in their community who can help provo provide low cost care. Because a lot of our veterans are low income. You know, veterans don't have just expendable cash. So, and they certainly can't afford service dogs. So we fit right into that niche to help the men and women who are suffering, but can't quite get there <laughs> with a service dog. So we are incredibly happy and proud of what we do. As I mentioned to your science guy. <laughs> science guy. That's right. <laughs> what we do, is supported by science, which, as you know, is ever more important these days. It's real, it's measurable, and we can show results that both the dogs and the veterans are doing better for being together. So if there's anything we can say, it's look. <laughs> We've got something measurable to show you. Not just happy faces and wagging tails, but actual measurable variables. So that makes us incredibly happy. Our veterans are really happy, the dogs and cats, and I think the rabbits are still happy. <laughs> it's kind of hard to know with them. I'm assuming they weren't placed for dinner. Oh. It wasn't my chapter. <laughs> that is, I would have been invited. <laughs> Anyway, um, thank you guys so very much, and someone will have to explain to me how you come up with furry names so I can have one. And